uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans. If you are things, if you are, where, if you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel I'm Bushker, and today we are going to be talking about the new matchmaker. And I'm going to explain to you why I've probably been a little bit AWOL uh, here. It's not because I've fallen out of love with the game or I've not really had the chance to play, it's because I've just not had many good games and I'm not playing as much at the moment because of the new matchmaking. I want to tell you what I think about it and um, why I don't think it's fair at all. But it's not, it's not really, it's not really a whinge so much as, I know it's getting changed, which is good. And I, I completely agree. It should be reverted back to where it was. And I want to give reasons for that. I haven't really had a huge voice in this because look, to be frank, the player base kept asking for this. Uh, if you go back to videos 10 years ago, the same shit was getting said in comments back then. It was like, we need skill-based matchmaking. This is bollocks. My team sucks. I can't get better wins. Uh, Wargaming have tilted the matchmaking against me. I am, there's like so many people that thought that they were specifically being targeted by matchmaker. Um, and People got what they wanted. Like, they got teams that were quite strong or weak. And, yeah, no one wants it. No one wants it. And it's unfair for everyone. I'll tell you why. Um, first and foremost, this has been going on for 10 years, the current matchmaker. So, it was fair in as much as everyone got the same shit show, right? Everyone got the same shit show. Sometimes your team would not know what they were doing. Other times they would. This was the ecosystem that we all lived in. And you ended up then with players in a seven tank game with like 70% win rates. who were really, really good. But if the matchmaker had been like this from the start, a really, really good win rate would have been 55 to 60%. That would have been incredible, like top the server, you know, end of the bell curve kind of range. 70% would have been the best player in the world, right? So you get this weird thing where we've had that for 10 years and now they change it and all the server's doing now is dragging everyone down to 50%. And that means that the guys who are at 70 have got the furthest to fall. And it doesn't set it up so that everyone's having a good time. Like, it just sets it up so that, for instance, you're playing against a 70% win rate player. And what it does, instead of finding another 70% win rate player and matching everyone up perfectly down the line, it gives you like 365% win rate or 360s in the other team and a bunch of 50s. And the way you get to 70% win rate and the way you have a 6k damage game is people on the other team make mistakes. But when you've got a whole bunch of competent players, they just don't give you anything. And so the competent players get wins where they're playing really good players, but they're doing two and a half K damage each. And the guy who's really good is just getting ruffle stomped because they're not just going out sideways. They just won't give him what they want or her what they want. They won't, you know, come one at a time and, and blow their repair kit on the first little thing. Like it's, no one's enjoying it. And I found I wasn't enjoying it. I was playing and I was winning or losing like half my games. And I felt like I was having less impact on the game than I'd ever had in the whole time I've been playing Blitz. And I wasn't having the kind of games where it was remarkable, like where you pull off something crazy against the odds. It was, there was none of the chaos element. And I don't like that because we already have skill-based matchmaking. It's called ratings. You can go and play ratings and you get ranked and fight for more rating and you that's what ratings is go and play that it's like if you play world of warships you have random games you have different game modes like we have um but then you have ranked where you try to get to rank one okay and they've got bronze and silver and gold and you're trying to get to rank one and you get to rank one and it's a big thing it's an achievement that's what you should have. You have a ranked game mode and everything else is just a shit show of chaos and frivolity. And you're allowed to be upset sometimes, but look, we got what we asked for. 
We've all asked for it. We need skill-based matchmaking. Some of us have asked more than others, not me. I've always been very much of the opinion that the last thing I want to do is be facing like three competent players in matches. But this was happening to me too. Like on some of my accounts, I've got a, a high win rate and I've got accounts all over the world. And I went and tried them and voila, like the high win rate ones were the least fun to play. The most fun I had in this was playing ratings on North America. But that was a shit show because my ping's horrible on North America. I don't know why it's so bad on the Wargaming servers, but it really is. Um, and by the way, congratulations to the father and son duo here that we're watching. I should have mentioned this at the outset. This is a uh, priest and you're going to need a bigger boat. And it's father and son. I've had this game on file for like, it could be a year. Like, I don't know. I've had it on file forever. So if you guys are still playing the game, um, congratulations on featuring on channel, finally. My bad. Should have got you on here long ago. Uh, so where was I? Yeah, so it's unfair for everyone and it kills the fun for everyone. If you just want to win, you can game the system. You can get a shit win rate account, turn it up with a reasonable win rate account and get better matchmaking. I mean, like, oh. So they're reverting it and I think that's a great deal. Um, it's it's funny to me though that people seem to have this idea that the game is in a bad place all the time and they've had the same idea forever and you'll see the how angry they'll be when they'll come back and leave a, a comment on YouTube or something like I uninstalled five years ago and I can tell you I'm happy I did um, and that's great being angry but then there's people that just don't uninstall they just keep playing the game and getting angrier and angrier and angrier and this hasn't made them happier because I'll tell you what most of the people that play the game get farmed like the you don't get a 60% win rate or a 70% win rate without farming a lot of people and yet the ones who yell the loudest are the ones who have the biggest win rate and by the way this is Ty Lockwood long time contributor Ty is one of the most featured players on channel and this video of Ty's in the Chieftain T95 is old as well like this is a real from the vault kind of video because I just don't have any videos really I think that are worth going you know what I had a whole buttload of like 3k wins and 2k losses and the wins and the losses they're so vanilla they are so freaking vanilla and I know that is not fun it's funny it's almost like the matrix where they talked about you know we tried to build a perfect world but humans just rejected it it's like we all want this perfect perfect tough game where our teammates don't let us down but we don't we really don't. We really don't. We want to be heroes. We want to be... Uh, we want to perform great deeds against the odds and earn the plaudits of our uh, companions and our comrades. And at the end of the day, skill-based matchmaking just removes that. It might have allowed you to do that if we had have had this matchmaking from the very get-go. But now, like 10 years in, when you have whole teams full of people with 20,000 plus battles skill-based matchmaking is just dragging everyone down into the morass of mediocrity so I think Wargaming kudos to them for having a crack at it uh, they gave the players who kept yelling what they wanted for it's just which just goes to show we really shouldn't be listened to we're bad. We're bad. And we deserve what we get. Anyway, what about Ty Lockwood at the T95 here? Just working the top end of uh, Yamato Harbour. Loving it. Look at the Yamato. What a great boat. Look at the Yamato and water warships. Big guns. 18 inches. 18 inches of love and overmatch. Stiff that, your 32mm bow. Um, 
so I've been playing a lot of World of Warships, a lot of PUBG Mobile, and I was learning to play uh, Blitz on the PC, and I'm a lot better now. Um, and when the new matchmaking comes in, I'll be playing a lot more. At the moment, I'm just waiting. Just I'm just waiting. And I apologize, because I really haven't like lost love for the game, and I've not disappeared. This is not me just going AWOL again. It really isn't. I just have not found that I've enjoyed that plan of gameplay. Like, I don't mind coming second. I don't mind losing. But I, when I lose, I want it to be like a heroic last stand, a video worthy performance. Something that, you know, gets you on the edge of your seat. And I've just not had a lot of that. It's been very boring and very vanilla. And that's not what I want out of Blitz. I want the chaos. I want the nuisance value. I need the idiots. I need the people who make me want to rip my own eyes out. And I didn't know I needed them. You probably didn't know you needed them either, but you do. And they're there. They're not going anywhere. And the next update, we'll get it back. Everyone's going to have a good time. My word. Thanks very much, uh, Ty Lockwood. We'll have to get help from the bug out here. Get, get all the old flames going. Um, look after yourselves. Stay safe on the battlefield. And as always, bye for now. When was this? This is a long time ago, this game. Good on your tie. 5,000 damage. What a legend.